I'm going to be reacting to Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 7, and I'll be starting my reaction in 1, 0, go. Alright. Pumped up forward this. Looks like it's finally getting serious. Oh, man. I wonder why they're so triggered about rush duels, though. Dang, so serious just over a game. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, man. This ain't them all shocked like that. Get him, it's kind of, been, it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> That's if they can even uninstall it, though. That's the thing. All right. Looks like that. That kid knows. Looks like that kid's gonna probably be pretty interesting to follow. Hmm. Going by usually goes in anime, I'm assuming this character is gonna be introduced into Yuga's school and she's whoever that person is, is probably gonna become friends with Yuga or fake becoming friends in order to get close to him and snatch the secrets, that's what I'm assuming. That's what the route that's probably gonna be the route that the series is gonna take. I've seen enough animes to have a decent idea of where this is probably going to be going. And go about how that character that I was talking isn't shown prominently in the opening. I'm sure that individual isn't going to be converted into a, a Rush Duel fanboy. I doubt it. Da -da 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 Rush. But hey! The first thing in the episode's a reassuring sign. At the very least now, the Loa Corporation actually wants to do something. Because as much as I enjoyed some sequences of the previous episode, it really didn't do much to... Oh. to It didn't really do much to emphasize the plot, you know? So hopefully this one can actually speed it up a little bit. I'm crossing my fingers. Going by this, it's probably going to be that girl then, considering how prominently she's shown. She's shown off. I didn't like how she's got all the fabulous sparkles around her. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, she's cute, she's cute. But still, though. Rush Duels, is that what she's going to say? I had a feeling. I, didn't, I did not watch the episode beforehand, but... But she looks like a trap in the making, you know? Having a happy facade, showing up out of nowhere, a transfer student excuse already. And then when she's like an internal elementary school student, just feels like an extreme trap. I like it. You see Yuga feeling himself out. Alrighty. She already greeted herself, though. <laughs> oh, man. I like her. Ramin's already feeling... Yep. Good thing she is already feeling suspicious about that chick. Wait! What the fuck? Whoa, 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 hold the fuck up. She does not look 37. She looks like a fucking... She looks like an 11 and 12 year old. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> God, I mean, that is a pretty funny backstory. <laughs> That's cute, though. 
Okay, at least she looks at it positively, and that has a turn. Oh. Oh, that's pretty adorable there. <laughs> It's actually nice to get to see her determination like that. <laughs> should she be a, Should she be a woman even be like that? She can blow her cover. <laughs> oh man, it's true. She's 37 year old, but dang, she's definitely getting some emotions riled up as if she were a elementary schooler. Okay, she's at least she's looking at his positive qualities. Oh, oh, okay. So she has kids. It's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, those are some pretty big assumptions there. <laughs> oh shit. Yo, you know shit's real when even Rook is suspecting you. You the f got the fuck out, dude! <laughs> She's already said that like three times. Damn, he's done her research. Hmm. It's a pretty epic feat there. Hmm. And I even like how we're getting some of the negative ramifications on them doing the newspaper house. It's mostly been positive, but they come with some cons too. Hmm. Good. Good. They need to keep their boy in check. Good. Hell yeah, expose! <laughs> I love that pouty face there. <laughs> oh man, this is too cute. Oh my goodness. Atachi, she's been really what the series needs. Someone to spice it up. Okay, now she just looks like she's trying to bribe him. It could probably fool Rook, but it's not gonna fool the student council. Oh, Tiramisu actually had that yesterday. That tastes fucking good, Tiramisu. The student council president, he, he has restraint. There is no... What the fuck? I expected more from him! <laughs> okay, I mean, is gonna be the only one that probably... There is no way she's gonna fall for this trap. There is no fucking way. She's the most mature out of them all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, even on her too! <laughs> Oh, man. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> she can probably get a career in politics if she put her mind to it the way she's winning over people like that. Jeez. Maybe the gen's gonna notice her actual age. Cause Kaizo, he is mechanical, he's gonna be able to notice the difference between an act elementary school student and an actual elementary school student. Normally I'd be like, that is some cheap visuals, but hey, it worked here because it was in a comedic context. <laughs> oh man, that's too adorable. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind her becoming the next leader of God. She's actually a pretty damn good character. At least from the few sequences she's in, she's made a bigger impression than some of the others in the series.
hopes she gets disappointed in what she's... Yeah, okay, good, good. Roman didn't fall for it. Hmm. Good, at least now hopefully Yuga will develop as a character. And he'll learn to keep his guard up emotionally. And they're gonna probably go for it, and he's gonna win Yuga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that cover's not gonna work with the outfit, though, that she has. No fucking one's gonna believe it. See, those tears aren't gonna... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait! <laughs> no! <laughs> she didn't just check it! But I like that though, it's showing you... Serious, except for Rook, he's like the only one that looks like a dumbass there. <laughs> what is this second war? Yuga's gonna win this. Who knows, but you might actually be converted into Rush Duels. <clears throat> that might actually happen. <clears throat> oh, okay, they're actually giving some good visuals to the dueling itself, because for the non-dueling sequences in this episode, they've been pretty stiff. Yeah, I recognize one of them as like the elf free. I forgot his name, but the elf creature that Yugi. Oh, yeah, Mystical Elf, the one that Yugi used in the original Yu Gi Oh! The one on the left, the blue one. What type of card is that? Oh! I mean, probably because the duelist gets more life points, that's my guess. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, wait, whoa. <laughs> I mean, hey, she's still showing pride. She looks young. She, she should be complaining about her 37. She's like the one of the best 37 year old looking characters I've ever seen. <laughs> oh man, just seeing her lack of self esteem is adorable there, too. Ellie, I yield. They're gonna take that ass. He's gonna take it. Good, good, good. Get that ass so you could get it. Oh yeah, it's always tough when he's about to summon that monster. Hell yeah. Hmm. See him. 
Oh, snap. You probably didn't expect any of this going in. Whoa. That means it's going to at least be 3,000... What is it? 3,000 damage? Hell yeah. It's a shame he doesn't have quick attack, though, Yuga, because if he did, he probably would have been able to win the duel in a singular turn if he had it. <laughs> oh, man. I mean... By technicalities, it is a... I like the fabulous looking background too in the 80s disco ball. Okay, that monster looks like it wouldn't even be. It looks like it belongs in a hentai! <laughs> what the hell? Oh shit. I don't know, it just gives me those vibes that'd be perfect in one of those H series. Okay. I like us use this role playing. Okay, I, I hope for the sake of ego, he has a face down card. Oh, <laughs> dumbass. Oh, but that's what I love about the series, though. Because the characters, they actually naturally act their age. Because in too many series, sometimes I see characters not act their specific age. Whoa! <laughs> I know that's from a movie from the 80s. I'm trying to remember its name. I know that's from a movie from the 80s. Okay, wasn't the fabulous CG water? What the hell? I just became spry budget for a sec. Well, is it? He's got a face down card. He's gonna have one, yeah. Yeah, there's no way our boy's gonna lose like this. Mm hmm. Pretty effective there. <clears throat> Actually, would like to see him win a duel without it utilizing his trump card. So, this is actually going to be a nice change of pace. I actually like the card of Stray Family, it's pretty adorable. Oh, okay. Guess now we know the monster that shows up in the opening with the purple hair then. <clears throat> oh, man. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, she's got a point. <clears throat> yeah, because the lack of sleep, it's going to affect you pretty badly. Roman has a point there. Ah... Uh...
Uh -huh. now she is fucked. For a second, I thought the subtitle said Gold Digger Master, but I know it's Gold Digging Master. <laughs> Hell yeah. Animation, yeah, could be better. It's been better all the episodes, but hey. I was actually nice to get to see him get the win. Aww. Maybe it's because she actually legitimately had fun in the duel. This is probably the most fun she's had in a while. Yeah, she's got to actually... <laughs> What's up the photo? Why is she always taking photos of me? <laughs> but going how Roman wasn't working with, um... This chicken sink? I'm assuming maybe Roni's working with a third party. No. She has to keep the promise of the brush duel and she actually has to read it. Ah, oh, these stooges. <laughs> How the fuck did they even get the job? <laughs> In the Go Corporation, how? Oh, now we got a stalker there. Hey, he's got a cute little rebel bump. <laughs> yeah, those two girls probably should call. <laughs> I mean, it would be pretty suspicious to be seeing a 37 year old be trolling a young, young boy. For like most of the ups, for like a, long, a large part of it. But well, that's cute though, I actually like this addition of, an, of the new character. You actually see she's going to be affecting the plot because she, they're not going to completely throw her away, so I like that. And I'd say if I were to rate this episode, I'm going to rate this one straight up an 8 out of 10 because for one, at least you had some semblance of plot progression, at least the co-op preparation is now trying to do something instead of just sitting there doing absolutely fuck all at the very least now we're seeing them they're actually trying to infiltrate and find more information about yuga so there is actually some nice progression there because at the very least they're not just sitting there all happy you know and then aside from that what i also like about this movie too aside from all that is just the personality of the episode. Like with a new character, you get a grasp of why she acts the way she does. She tries to make herself feel young. And then on top of that, what I also like too, from the characterization. Oh, it's these portions of the episode that usually are not translated when they talk about some of the cards. Right across those look like a pretty cool monster though, I ain't gonna lie. And I guess for a monster that you would only need to tribute summon one monster to summon at, I guess at best, he's got a significant, he's got a good amount of attack points. Gotta, I ain't gonna lie. Hmm. Looks like an interesting PV. But at the same time though, it doesn't look like it's gonna be doing much plot progressing. Then aside from what I like about the new character is you at the very least get to see that she's actually observing the good qualities of you at the very least. So that's pretty nice. And what I do like about this episode too is from the new character, you can see her flaws. She really doesn't seem to appreciate her own... I mean, she does appreciate herself to an extent. But at the same time, it's pretty hilarious of those moments where she has to put on the sign where she's like, I'm not a child, I'm an adult. That's also pretty fucking hilarious. So I thought the humor really, really worked. 
And you get characterization where you see how much he has joy in making things for his son, even though it was a small throwaway line. It actually details her quite a bit. And then I like how with Roman, you get to see her have a good moment because she you see that she wasn't completely fooled. And that was cute in its own even though she received the gift. So that's another thing I like about this episode too, specifically. And that's why I felt this episode was great. Because all the comedy, it came naturally. Like when you have Rook falling for it the easiest, it was because that's kind of his personality. And stuff like that. And that's why I felt it did well from the story and character standpoint. And I'd say the only weak one is the animation. If the animation were better, this would probably be a 9 out of 10 caliber episode. But since it was pretty bad... It, no, it was like extremely bad. I'm like... What the hell is this? I've seen better visuals from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and even some of the original Yu-Gi-Oh! episodes. So animation quality, it was subpar. But the script elevated it to be 8 out of 10 status. And that's why I enjoyed this episode overall. And I hope the next few episodes keep the same momentum. But anyways, y'all. These are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment down your thoughts on how you feel about my reaction in the comment section below. Rate the bit, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. But anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching my video, y'all, and have a great and safe day, everyone. Bye-bye.